Good morning and welcome to Hump Day Hallelujah. I'm Pastor Scott and I'm coming to you from Ascension Lutheran Church in Citrus Heights. This uh, past Sunday, I had a little trouble getting to church and maybe you can relate. Well, it wasn't that I had, uh, I wasn't inspired to come to church. I was actually on my way and the uh, freeway on-ramp I always use when I come to church was closed with no notice or no markings. So I, I headed up to the next freeway off-ramp, closed as well. Headed to the next freeway off-ramp, always moving in the direction towards church because I don't like to go back. And uh, it was closed as well. As a result, I ended up going to the fourth freeway off-ramp. It was, it was open and I was able to get to church about 10 minutes later than I normally am. But I'm always early on a Sunday morning, so nobody else noticed, just... Uh, just me, um, and I was here a little later than I prefer. You see, they're doing construction on the freeway by my house, which um, creates some uh, roadblocks, if you will, literally, to uh, trying to get up early on a Sunday morning and get to church. When we lived in Chicago, they used to say there were two seasons of the year. There was the snow season, and there was construction season. And if you've lived where it snows a lot, you'll know that the snow really uh, wreaks havoc on the roads. And so you need to take the season when the snow is melted to, uh, to fix the roads, fix the potholes, and, and uh, take care of things. And ba the basic result is that you're always stuck in some sort of traffic. Have you ever had difficulty getting to worship on a Sunday morning? And as you can see, I can relate, but I'm paid to be here, so I persevered and made it here. Um, I'm sure there's times for you uh, when um, you just give up, and I get it. Um, there's a lot that's going on in our lives and a lot that comes up. But all this got me to thinking about Psalm 133, and the, and the text comes to mind uh, partially because of the time we spent in Chicago where I attended seminary. While we were there, my buddy and I took a, a preaching class, our first preaching class, Psalm 133 was the first text on in that class, and, and we each preached our sermons to each other before we preach it to the whole class. Psalm 133 says, How very good and pleasant it is when kindred dwell together in unity, is how it begins. And it goes on to talk about how abundant that is. It's like um, the dew um, running off the, uh, the beard of Aaron and down down the mountain and into the to the valleys to the places that need that moisture they need um, to uh, for the crops how very good it is when kindred dwell together um, it reminds me of the church gathering together and being um, being gathered in worship on a Sunday morning being gathered um, in service to our community being gathered in in fellowship it is good and it is pleasant and it is pleasing, I think, to God when we are gathered together. There's a lot that, that goes on in our lives and a lot of things that can distract us and prevent us from, from being gathered with the rest of the body of Christ, what, what we like to call um, our church family. But when we aren't here, um, we're missing out. We, we aren't enjoying that camaraderie, that unity that comes by being gathered together. Um, and not only are we missing out, but the body is missing out. Elsewhere in Scripture, we, we read the church is described as the body, um, and that there are many parts to the body, a hand, feet, you know, eyes, and, and that if any part of that body is missing, the body isn't complete. If and when you encounter obstacles to being in worship, wherever it is you might worship, I encourage you to persevere, um, you know, sometimes that, that may mean just turning on a live stream and worshiping that way. But persevere and gather with the body of Christ that you too might hear the good news, that you might be remembered into the body of Christ in that worship experience. Remembering is something we do as we gather around the altar and have communion every Sunday where we remember what Jesus has done for us. We are remembered back into the body. And if we're not here it's more difficult for that to happen. 
So when the on-ramp is closed, I encourage you to persevere, find the next on-ramp, um, and uh, make your way to worship, make your way to fellowship, make your way into service opportunities with, with your worshiping community, with the body of Christ, wherever and whenever they may be meeting. And as a, a friend of mine said during uh, the church where I did my internship, I'll see you in church if the windows are clean. Take care and have a good week.